I was reading a paper that came out of the Federal Reserve Board in Washington, D.C., by a quite well-known economist who works at the Federal Reserve named Jeremy Rudd. And his paper was, Do We Really Understand Inflation? That wasn't the title, but that was what the paper was about. Very good paper, very well done, showing that inflation has many different causes under a variety of circumstances. So we shouldn't be misled by politicians who want you to think this or that is the cause of inflation rather than seeing the complexity. But that's not what I want you to hear. I want you to listen to me read footnote number two in this erudite paper on the economics of inflation published by the Federal Reserve. Here we go. I leave us, I'm quoting now from this paper, I leave aside the deeper concern that the primary role of mainstream economics in our society is to provide an apologetics for a criminally oppressive, unsustainable, and unjust social order. Go, Jeremy! Wow! You know, the folks that work in the bureaucracy have brains, and they can figure it out, too. He leaves it aside, but he wants you to know, and he wants me to know, and I want you to know, that he knows that the economics he's practicing may have an altogether different purpose than the one usually claimed for it. The final update I have time for today uh, wants to bring to your attention strikes. We are seeing more strikes by working people than we have seen in decades going on right now. This summer, there was an important strike at the Nabisco firm that ended in July. And as we're going to press, there's a strike in early October by Kellogg. And I'm mentioning them because those are very familiar names to most Americans, Nabisco and Kellogg. We remember that from our breakfast cereal and, and many other things that these companies produce. Both companies drove their workers to strike. They've been negotiating over lapsed contracts for over a year. Both companies threatened the workers that if they don't knuckle down and give back things they used to have that they won in the past, these companies will move more of their production to Mexico, where they already have production facilities. I want everyone to understand, profit is what drives this system. It has in the past, and that's what it's doing now. Threatening workers so that you can make more profits by taking away from them the benefits you gave them. The hours, the wages, the benefits, and the working conditions to make more money. That's what it's all about. And if that means going to another country where you can pay lower wages, of course will do that. And of course, we'll threaten the workers here. You know, that's an old story. Either you bring workers from Mexico here and pay them very little, particularly the undocumented ones, or if that causes a furor, okay, you move the production to Mexico. Then there's no question of immigrants, but you still get the extra profits. Has that stuff stopped? No. Did Mr. Trump, who promised to bring it to an end, stop it? Don't be silly. Is Mr. Biden worried about it? Hardly. It's the way the system works, which is why system change is really what's on the agenda.